I Wonder TV clips. Please like, share, and subscribe. What's up, bud? My buddy Travis. Travis, Jovan. Hey, buddy. Sir. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see you, boys. So I got a call from my buddy Joe. Um, he's a pest control operator, and he gives me a shout every once in a while that he comes across a colony that can be saved. Um, and man, he found a beautiful one today, so I'm really excited to get out there and get at it and bring that colony home. Oh my God. Look how beautiful that hive is, man. Bro, this thing is massive. I couldn't kill it. How old do you think the hive is? I would say this hive is somewhere around eight months old. That's it? Yeah. Crazy. They work so fast, man. Oh, look at all that beautiful new comb. My most important tool that I use is probably my bee smoker. Every single time that you are operating these colonies, you have to come up to them, understanding that you're dealing with a social, multi-organism living thing that is talking. And they do it through smell. So the smoke comes in and you can't use much because it'll choke them out. You just gotta come in, introduce a little bit of that smoke to them and that disables communication for a short period of time, allowing us as beekeepers to get into the colony, cut out the comb or inspect, do whatever we need to do. But the reason it works is because the smoke overpowers the odor of the pheromones that are being produced and all the bee smell is smoke. All right, here we go. See, they're actually on my face already because they're picking up on the breath, like my, the smell of my, watch. Oh. The carbon that you're releasing. Very good. I like to do the vacuum when we're cutting out of structures or even a beehive that's up in the tree. The reason why that is, is bees have a habit of when they leave the colony and come back, they wanna go back to where the hive originally was. So what we do is we remove them into an enclosure with a vacuum where we get to suck them out of a tree or out of their hive and put them into an enclosed box where they can't leave. So it's a really awesome tool when used properly. And the best way to check is you'll all get all your blasts will come in, so you'll have a big accumulation. So what I wanna do is I wanna uh, see how many high, you know, and that's, that's how I could tell how much I got, what I got. So from here, we'll just go ahead and start. Start sniffing. So we'll get this first panel off. This looks good actually. So this is all nectar. No, no, these are, these are good. These are all nectar. This is actually honey right here. Check this out. It's all honey. And on the other side, you got a little bit of honey stores right here as well. So if you want to taste it, right here. What? Right here, check that out. I'm gonna do it through my suit. Oh yeah, it's totally fine. Mm. I'm just trying to learn to save the bees. I like my mangoes, I like my fruits. <laughs> so I know we need bees to have that and I want to continue to enjoy that. And I absolutely did not want to exterminate them um so what i did i actually took a pay cut and i'm giving my earnings to my brother <laughs> to learn um i see it as going to school he went to school he paid a bunch of money for school <laughs> so i'm getting it cheaper on a discounted price um and we're able to save some bees perfect well done can we save this and, and drain the honey i wouldn't Okay. There's a little bit, but not enough for it to be um, worth it. So what happens is, is if you process a panel like that that has a lot more nectar than it has honey, your moisture content is too high. Therefore, you're now mixing sugar with water, and that'll begin to ferment. It, this, stuff, this stuff is so deep, mm -hmm. it's really ridiculous. Yeah, man. Really ridiculous. Honey is antimicrobial, antibacterial, um, and crazy enough, man, you go to some other parts of the world, honey's even looked at as a medicine. Let's talk about Manuka. Manuka honey is a honey that comes from the Manuka plant or tree, and it produces this type of honey that is now known as Manuka honey, which has anti, also antimicrobial and antibacterial properties. In Australia, which is where this honey comes from, it's actually used 
to treat burns, cuts, and all sorts of other strange ailments on the skin because of the high antimicrobial and antibacterial properties they have. Um, it is literally used as medicine. Nice and slow, bro. I got you here. After we finish removing all those combs and we get everything down, we'll go ahead and try to cut down a portion of that limb. Reason we do that here is because um, the bees that are on these branches are hanging from the branch. They're secreting and releasing pheromones into that wood. And it being so porous, it absorbs it. And now what will end up happening is if we remove all of those bees and don't cut off that portion of the limb, all those pheromones and those wax bits are left behind. And that customer could potentially have another problem in the future because of that. We're done. Now it's just cleaning up, get these bees in a safe location, tidy up our work zone and get rid of the rest of this wax. And then we could go ahead and back up the rest of the bees after they go ahead and uh, settle down again. I wonder TV clips. Please like, share, and subscribe.